Hi Virgo, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your reading for October. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Uh, keep in mind this reading is for October. It's being recorded in September, but it's it's geared for the month of October. may resonate now, but I would urge you to watch it in October. Um, so I have all kinds of stuff coming in really, really fast. So things are probably happening really, really fast for you. I think that things are about to open up. Maybe new doorways, new paths, something like that. Um, something has been below the surface. It's about to be shown. I feel as though... Um, Something is about to burst into your world, something very exciting. I saw the page of wands, something um, yeah, something is going to happen probably very, very quickly. I, I, see a, I see a burst of confidence as well, so your confidence may get some sort of boost during this month. Um, I see a lot of strength, I see a lot of willpower, and really vibrating on a high level as well. So, I, you know, I saw the strength card alongside that page of wands, so... This is uh, looking really good, feeling really good, a lot of confidence, high self-esteem. Um, it's very attractive, putting off a, a very high vibration. So people are probably drawn to you. And I see very things happening very, very fast. It's, a, it's an exciting month, put it that way. So that's what I see. I also saw the moon card. That's why I said something is below the surface. Something All is not as it seems. So something is going to be shown to you that has been below the surface. So that's, and you may need to find your strength to deal with it. It may, I, I do think it's good, but there could be some fear surrounding it because it's unknown right now. Okay. So when it gets shown to you, it may be a little bit surprising. Okay. So just keep that in mind. We're going to start right here. Um, what do we have for Virgo? What do we have for Virgo for October? Virgo. There it is. Wedding. Wedding. Well, haha. <laughs> This situation involves marriage. You could be dealing with a Libra. I don't know. Libra got this card as well. Um, you don't have to be. Okay. Uh, you could have Libra in your chart. That's why you're getting this. I don't know. This has to do with a marriage. This could have to do with you coming into contact with somebody that you are going to marry. This could have to do with you being in a marriage right now. Um, and whatever this month, is, whatever's happening has to do with this marriage. Whatever is going on, it has to do with marriage, okay? This this month is going to be focused around a partnership, but by the looks of things, okay? Um, if you are single, you may be meeting the person that you're going to marry. Um, could be Libra. I don't know. It doesn't have to be. Um, but this whatever is going on this month involves a marriage, Okay. For some of you, and this flipped out reverse, not for you, not for you. So this, you know, this could tell me that you, you, it's reverse. So you may be meeting the person that is for you and getting out of a contract with the one that is not for you. Okay. So just keep that in mind. I feel as though, because this is reversed. So when it's reversed, it's like, if this person probably is for you. Okay, so I think that I'm going to leave this reversed. I think that, you know, you may have been in a contract or maybe you were married to somebody that wasn't for you and now you're going to meet the one that is for you. That could certainly be the case. Or, you know, it could state, you know, that you are, well, I really feel like this is, this, this has to do with um, somebody finding the one. And they may have to get out of the contract that they are not in. I'm just being honest with you because there's somebody else. That's what I feel. That's what I feel. Um, somebody may be deciding that the contract they're in is just not the one that they should be in. All right. And somebody may be finding their, their, their partner that they're going to marry. Okay. So that could go either way. It is definitely a time of reevaluation, of evaluating a partnership. So that is definitely on the table here. I think that um, for some of you, you are meeting the one or you have met the one that is for you. But there is some sort of uh, 
for some of you, there's a marriage that needs to be resolved. And, and I'm not saying that in a bad way, but it's true. Okay. Um, take action. Act now. Think later. That's what this card means. The Knight of Wands. Take action right now. I think that, like, and it's funny that I saw the Page of Wands. I said somebody's about to burst into your world. You know, this could be who somebody that is bursting into your world as well. The Knight of Wands. This person is very action oriented. So somebody could be, and this guy moves fast. So it doesn't have to be a guy, but this is fast moving energy. So I think things are absolutely going to be happening fast. King of Wands. You may be dealing with an Air, uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, a fire sign. Um, you may not um, even see it coming. You might not even have to put in any effort. This person is here. Um, this person just shows up. I feel as though um, there's a lack of desire or there's a lack of energy. There could be a lack of passion in a certain situation. And you need to take action to refine some passion. Um... The Emperor. Some of you are definitely dealing with an Aries. Okay. Um, this is taking back control. This is taking control. You could have somebody coming into your life that is in Emperor status. This guy is a boss. This person has everything in order. This person is very dominant. This person is very protective. This person um, is very confident. This person... is very strong so i think that you guys have somebody coming into your life that is very very protective and dominant and uh structured organized this person is very very family oriented as well this is a true emperor right here but this this king of wands reversed it's like you don't i don't know if you're taking on this energy or what? This is no desire. Not taking action. It's like you're not going to have to do anything because this guy, he takes action. That's what I think this is. Hmm. Six of Swords. This is moving on. Moving. This is a time of transition. Taking a new approach. Going to a new place. Traveling, this person may travel to you. They may be at a distance and they travel to your location. Whoever this, regardless of the sign, this person is very passionate. And I think that there's been a lack of passion. And this person is very, very, very passionate. Very wise. This person has a lot of life experience. Whoever this person is that is coming in. Yeah, I did see that too. Um, but yeah, you, you may not be able to restrain yourself or this person may not be able to restrain themselves from you. There's a lack of confidence here. And maybe that's you. Maybe that's you. I don't know. Maybe you're not quite ready to open up when this person enters your life. <clears throat> you may feel like you don't have any desire to get engaged with this. This person, it's like this person shows up and you're not even ready for it. Maybe you dealt with some sort of control in the past and you're not completely healed. Somebody may have dealt with a narcissist or somebody that was very controlling and now they got somebody that else that is coming in that seems to be very strong and dominant and scary. So you may be reluctant to give this person a chance. I'm just being honest with you. For some of you, it feels like we have a very strong uh, individual that is coming in suddenly. And you may be fearful of it. Okay, you may be fearful. Um, Page of Cups. Yes, this is an offer. This is, this is somebody that may be crushing on you. This is an offer of love. I think that... Somebody is going to receive some sort of message of love, message, a uh, flirtatious message. Somebody may be starting to flirt with you or, or coming forward towards you with some sort of um, playfulness. Okay, somebody may be 
really crushing on you and it feels like you your challenge is opening up to this person this is this is your challenge area it feels like you you're gonna feel like you know maybe maybe you may may feel like you're not good enough virgo you may feel like you're not good enough who well, this person thinks that you are beautiful so just keep that in mind don't let your own self-image problems get in the way because this person sees your beauty just put that just remember that just Keep that in your back pocket. Um, nine. Of, this is an opportunity for wish fulfillment. Okay, this is this could make you very, very, very satisfied. This is the nine of cups. I really feel like we have somebody here that is going to receive an unexpected offer of love or unexpected opportunity it's like there's this is a message of love somebody's going to receive a message from somebody that surprises them i think this person it, it it's like a flirtatious kind of message um it could make you feel really good you may be flattered you may be flattered by this message but it also feels like you're you will be challenged to uh trust this person um yeah, you may be, it may cause some confusion. It may it be you'll have to make some sort of choice, some sort of decision. This is a seven of cups. You may feel like you know, is this the right choice for me? Um, you 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 may be be f afraid of some sort of false beginning here. This person is very passionate. This person is very attractive. This person seems to be exactly everything, and it may be just like you know, is this some sort of illusion? You know, you may be like, is this false? Is this real? You know, I think that you, you may feel like you can't, uh, this isn't real. Um, nine of swords. Yeah, I think that your gut may be poking you. May is this Does this person really have good intentions? You may be worried about this person's uh, actions. You know, this person seems to be very, very um, strong. Okay, this person is very... Um, this this person doesn't wait. This person takes action. And I think that you may be like, woo! You know, this is a little bit too much for me. This may worry you. This may worry you that this person is so attracted so fast. Whatever that means. Um, I see your worry. You may even feel guilty. You may feel guilty that this is happening. You may be feel, you may feel, because this, this can sing, single, signify guilt. You know, you may, you may, now you may have to make some sort of choice. You may have to make some sort of complex decision. It's like, now you got this person that has burst into your world and it's a very attractive, passionate opportunity and it's like you want to take it, but you may have to, you know, make a, de make a decision to, uh, go in a different direction and that you may feel guilty for, for doing what you need to do for yourself. Just, I don't know what that means. Um, Ten of Swords is the end of suffering. This is, the, this is the end of darkness. It's time to stand up. It's time to live again. It's time to start over. It's a time of uh, the worst is over. Okay, you need to find your strength to let go of your worries, let go of your pain, let go of your regrets, let go of your guilt, let go of your fear. Okay, because this is fear and this is fear. I feel like we have somebody here that has definitely been brought down by another person. Maybe even belittled, uh, controlled, could have even been, I mean, I think I already said the word narcissist. I don't know. Somebody has been, you know, really, really hurt by another, really hurt by another person to the point where they don't have confidence. It's like they don't trust. I, you know, I have fear of letting this person, um, or even communicating with this person. Uh, what, I, what, did it, what I see here is that somebody has burst in and there's fear. There's fear because somebody has dealt with somebody who has really, 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 really hurt them. Um, hmm. The Hermit. Take all the time you need to think about this. I feel as though it's time for you. You've traveled a long road, right? You have. I feel like it's time for you to come out of hiding. I think that, you know, if you need more time to think about this, go ahead and think about it. Um, somebody is going to see your wisdom as well. Somebody is going to 
want to take you out of hiding. Okay, they're going to want, they may even ask you out on a date. This person, um, is going to have a hard time leaving you alone, put it that way. It's like this person will be like, no, 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 I don't want you to be alone. I don't, I want, I want you to come with me. And this person is going to, is going to come after you, put it that way. This person is coming after you. They are going to try to bring you out of your cave. They're going to try to bring you out. They're going to probably invite you out. They're going to want you, they're going to try to make you feel good. Okay. Um, Ten of Pentacles reversed. They, they're going to, it's like they, this person is not in a relationship. This person is single. This person is wanting to build a foundation. This person is looking for somebody to settle down with. And they see that you are, they see that that. You need, it's, it's almost like this person needs me and I need them. I feel like this person is, is, um, this person is thinking that they can help you to build something. This person is thinking that they can help you. They can with this page of cups. It's like there could be some family crisis that brings this person into your life with this Ten of Pentacles reversed. There could be some sort of family issue that brings this person in. And this person, see, is just, it's just like this person is instantly attracted. They feel some sort of connection and they try to bring you out. It's like they try to bring you out of your cave. They try to bring you out of your suffering. They try to get you to you know, open up. This person is going to try to get you to open up to them. Um, I think that this person may think that you are suffering, you know, and maybe you have been and they're, they're going to try to, to build something with you. They're going to try to build something with you. It's almost like they're going to try to protect you. It's like through your suffering, they see an opportunity. They see an opportunity here and it's like they don't come into it thinking that, oh, I'm going to, I'm going to, this is that this person is vulnerable. They go into it as like emotional support and it turns into something more. I think there's some sort of family crisis or family situation that brings this person into your life and it turns into something more. Um, this person may try to ease your worries, try to ease your stress. They're trying to help you. They're trying to be your friend and it turns into something more. It turns into love. That's what I see. So I feel as though there's some sort of unstable home situation that, you know, you may, you may be trying to heal from this. You may be on your own. You're alone. You're good. You don't, you're, you're just, you like it. I mean, it's like you're just, right now you're going through a heal, healing period. You're going through a time of introspection. You're not really looking for anybody you have to come out of your house for one reason or another. Or you have to come out of your cave. Maybe, I don't know what for. You run into this person and this person is very, very attracted. And I think it is a mutual attraction even though you're not looking. And whatever this is, it leads to deep satisfaction in the end. I think that you are headed towards something deeply satisfying even though you're not even looking for it. You know? So I, I really believe that you're going to receive some sort of emotional support from somebody through some sort of crisis. And I think this starts out as some sort of friendship, maybe some slight flirting, and it leads to deep satisfaction. It leads to something more, okay? I think it leads to something more. So I think it, it could even lead to marriage in the end. Maybe, and, and if this is going another direction, somebody may be going through a divorce and this person is some sort of emotional support and that leads to something more. I think there's a friendship. Somebody comes in to help, you know, with, they lend an ear and it, this person, it leads to something more. So whatever this is, 
I think that um, somebody may be moving as well. They may be moving home. I just, that just came to me. I looked down and I said, oh, somebody's moving. So somebody may be moving. Um, maybe they're moving to your location or you're moving out of your home. I don't know what's happening here. But I feel as though you are about to come out of hiding, whether you like it or not. And I think that you get your, somebody is going to basically pull you out. They're going to pull you out of whatever stagnant situation that you have been in. So, good luck.